Hello my lovelies, welcome, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Mary and I give you an extra warm welcome. I would love it if you can hit the subscribe button and stay for a while. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. I appreciate you more than you know. So of course, as you could tell from the title of the video, my Melt Cosmetics Christmas Town palette is here. So we're going to play with this palette today. I only picked up the palette and the makeup bag. Did I need another makeup bag? No, I sure did not. Um, I almost picked up one of the eye gels, Zero. That's the name of the shade is the one that I was the most interested in but at the time of the launch they were no longer available. I did get one or two messages as to why that could possibly be. I don't know if it was correct or not but now they are available on the Melt Cosmetics website and they will be coming to Sephora I think on the 13th or on the 15th of this month, November. So yeah, if you are interested, you can pick it up at Sephora. Unfortunately, it will be after the sale. I think today is the last day. I'm not sure. <laughs> so yeah, so we are here because we're going to create a couple of eye looks with this palette. And yeah, so if you wanna see my thoughts on this palette and see if it's as good as the Halloween Town, then just go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so a couple of people already have their uh, videos up. Late to the game as usual. I'm not going to lie, I was pleasantly surprised when they announced this collaboration. Someone pointed out that when they purchased Halloween Town or when they saw the reveal of Halloween Town, they wondered why the Christmas portion of Nightmare Before Christmas wasn't really represented in the collection and kind of suspected that this was coming. Yeah, I just didn't think about it that deeply, so <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised when this was announced. I think we got like a little preview the day after Halloween or the day after this launched. I don't remember. Anyhow, uh, the whole Christmas Town collection retails for $165 and it looks like it's still available. I do enjoy the fact that they actually switched up the products that are available for this collection. So there's no mirror, but there is a duo brush set. They also have a cheek and highlight duo, which I skipped on, a bag, another makeup bag, two lipsticks, and then two eye gels. A good amount of variety. I'm glad that they changed it up. Again, like I mentioned, I only purchased the palette and the makeup bag. I just took it as a sign that I did not need the eye gels because they weren't available right away. And then once they became available, the hype for the one I wanted kind of went away. So I just, I decided to just skip and not even purchase it. Here is the bag and Zero is in the front and center of this bad boy. Retails for $35. It's pretty similar to the other one on the back. It does have Jack on the sleigh and then the deer and Zero, the moon, and then again Zero, he's so cute. Definitely one of my favorite characters. And on the little zippers, it still has the details. It's a pretty nice bag. I think for $35, you definitely get a good quality bag. Okay, and then here is the eyeshadow palette. I really do love the details that they put on the outer packaging as well as the packaging itself for the palette. The palette retails for $60 and it's the same shape as the Halloween Town and it has that little changing, I forget what this is called. I thought with the other one and this one, pretty neat and it does have a few little details on the back. I've made a terrible mess of your holiday. And here is what the inside of this palette looks like. Again, all of the little detail that they include on the inside, I think, is so cute. Okay, the palette was made in the USA, and it does have a 12-month shelf life. I do feel like this palette is different enough from the Halloween Town. Like, it has similar, I guess, tones. So we have the reds and the purples, and then instead of blue, we have green. But I do feel like they are pretty different. This is a really colorful Christmas story, not your typical Christmas story. And this one, I definitely do feel like it's a colorful type of Halloween palette. 
I just, so cute, so cute. Even though my favorite part of Nightmare Before Christmas is the Halloween part, uh, I do feel like they did such a good job on the little details. I think this one's even cuter than the other one. I love it. Okay, so let me go ahead and prime my eyes and then that way we can get started. But don't these look just so cute together? I love it. All right, my lovelies, I think I'm going to do two different eye looks, one on this side, one on this side, and then I'll do a third eye look on a different day so that I can do them on both eyes. I really want to do, I don't know why, I want to do a kind of sort of mon monochromatic eye look. So I want to focus on these two shades and the white, and then I'll pick a shimmer. And then on one of the eye looks, I want to focus on the purples and then pick a shimmer. And then on the third eye look, I wanna focus on the green mattes and then put a shimmer. And then maybe I'll just do whatever for a quickie eye look video with this palette. I don't buy too many holiday palettes because they're usually limited edition and I hate using stuff. Well, actually, no, I don't hate it because honestly, you should use your makeup. Use your makeup. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't know if I'm going to purchase another Christmas palette because I'm considering this to be a Christmas holiday palette. Uh, we shall see. So let's start with the red on this side and we're going to start with Nightmare. The dark burgundy kind of, maybe like a red rum kind of shade. This is the Refer 15. I used the NARS eye base and I did go in to the Tom Ford Traceless Matte and the Westman Atelier Drop Foundation Drops for my base, the Givenchy Prisma Libre Concealer. I went in to the Charlotte Tilbury wand for contour and the cream bronzer or bronzing and then my little mini rare beauty uh soft pinch something liquid blush the new one i got for this for a vab sale and then powdered with the huda press powder for my under eyes and the rcma press powder for the rest of my face okay pigmented no issues yeah, looks good. Okay, now we're going to jump into the Refer 01. We're gonna use the pretty red in the palette. Uh, Sandy Claws, <laughs> that's cute. And I'm going to use this to blend out the edge of this shade. I usually start with tapping motions because I don't know, I just feel like when it comes to colorful eyeshadows, you do have to be a tiny bit strategic at how you're going to use the shades, you know? If you blend, I feel like you're just going to blend the color away. So I prefer to tap, lay down the pigment that I want, and then blend where I need to blend. I don't do red eye looks often, I wish I was more confident with wearing a red eyeshadow, but I feel like red eyeshadow is one of those that like you can look sickly if not done right. <laughs> okay, that's what we're looking like. I feel like those two blended in pretty well. I don't see any type of patching. Okay, now we're going to jump in to the white. What is it called? No One's Dead. This is an LMR Cosmetics brush. It's just like a fluffy flat brush. I don't know the name of it. It's faded out. I'm going to use this white to blend out the edges of the red. It's probably going to turn it pink, but I'm okay with that. We'll see. I think I'm going to use this white in the inner corner, but it's working very nicely. Seems like a good pigmented white. And if you lose any of those prior shades, just go ahead and reinforce it. Okay, I think the shimmer I definitely have to go for is this pretty, almost like a light gold. It almost seems like it might have a tiny bit of a lime green in it, uh, experiments. And it looks like it's, yep, it definitely has green specks in there. Pretty, 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 pretty. And like I said, we're going to use the white for the inner corner. I did go into my NYX glitter glue, you already know. This shade feels very soft, almost like it's a tiny bit more of a topper than an actual shimmer. 
Okay, now we're going to jump in to this Sigma and Samantha shader crease brush. It's just like a very small precision brush. Using that white, we're going to put it in the inner corner. And I feel like that burgundy, like dark, maybe blood red, no longer looks like that. It looks like a dark purple. It could be because it's next to like that pinky red, but it does not look so burgundy now. It looks more purple, right? Like a plum purple. Okay, this is pretty much the eye look, but I'm not going to put mascara and lashes until I'm done with the other eye look. So let's get started with this eye look. All right, I think on this side, I'm going to jump into the greens. That way, it could be like Christmas, red and green, you know? Okay, this is the refer number one, three mini, and I think I'm going to do a halo eye on this one. So let's start with the dark green right here, which is called Smithereens. We're gonna start on the inner corner. Refer, I enjoy using brushes this small for when I'm doing halo eyes because I can be very precise. And I'm starting the opposite of what I normally do. I feel like I normally go in with a lighter shade and then deepen up the corner. But today I'm doing the green first. The dark green, I should say. And then blending out the edges. So far, this green is decently pigmented. Not giving me any issues at all. Okay. Now we're going to jump into that pretty lime green which is called Eureka. This is the 14 Mini from Refer. Very pigmented. <laughs> um, well, not pigmented, but a lot of product was picked up. And I'm going to use this to blend out to the edges of that green. I'm tapping and also blending. And if I lose some of that green, like the dark green, it's fine. I'll just go back and reinforce it. No big deal. A lot of cloud coverage today. Looks like it might rain soon. I'm trying to hurry up because I need to start cooking lunch before I go pick up my child from school. Okay, next glitter glue is on. And we're going to jump in to the pretty green mistletoe. This looks like a normal, oh, maybe it's shifty. It is a tiny bit shifty. It's looking more like a mint green. So I might put some of that gold on top of it. And it's also very soft. So far these shimmers are like topper-ish kind of. Not chunky or anything like that. Very fine glitter on them. Okay, I'm going to put a tiny bit of that gold shimmer experiments. In the center of this because this eye look so far is not it feels a tiny bit dull maybe i'll change my mind once i apply mascara but as of right now not my favorite okay and then i think i'll be doing the same thing and using the white for the inner corner it's a pretty pigmented white all right, my lovelies, here are the two completed eye looks. I would definitely say that I look festive. Christmas festive, that is. Let me curl my lashes real quick. So I went in to the Lila B Powder Bronzer, which unfortunately is no longer available. But if you own it, pick it up and use it. It's out here because of, I can't remember what video I filmed. So I just went ahead and used it. And then I did go into the Dior Rosy Glow in 006 Berry for the powder blush. Uh, highlight, I went in to the What's Up Beauty Serengeti. This is in Safari Sunset. Still loving that highlight. It is so pretty. And mascara, I mixed my Kevin Aquan little sample and the Chanel uh, sample. Oh, lips. I have on Cinnamon from Melt Cosmetics, the lip liner, and then the Rare Beauty lip oil thing in Hope. Okay, here it is. Here are the two eye looks. So here is eye look number one. I 
eye look. Number two. Okay, I'm not sure which one is my favorite, but we still have the third and final eye look, which will be more purple based. I'm pretty sure I'm going to stick to all purples, um, but for right now, between these two, this one I prefer over the green one. I don't know what it is about this green eye look. It's pretty, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's the type of green that's throwing me off because I usually when I wear green it's not this green it's more like an olive green or very rarely do you see me using bright festive greens <laughs> okay well I'm going to hand you off to I look number three and for me it's going to be a different day let me hand you on over. all right my lovelies we are here for the third eye look with Christmas Town from Mel Cosmetics. I don't remember exactly what I used for my base for eye looks one and two. So uh, let me tell you what I used real quick. Lisa Eldridge for foundation. Givenchy for the concealer. Kevin Aquan for the contrast stick. RCMA cream bronzer. Rare Beauty cream blush. Easy Bake Powder from Huda Beauty for my under eyes. Hourglass Veil Loose Powder for the rest of my face. And I don't think I've gone into any powder products yet. So let's get started. I used the ABH Eye Primer. Bear with me. My voice is slowly coming back. I know it sounds like it hurts, but it's actually um, on the mend. I have that cough that's like the tail end of getting better so like it sounds the worst but it's not it's getting better okay i think for today's look i really want to focus on the purples now we only have these three purples to work with and two of them are shimmer metallic shades so let's start with this one and then i think i'm going to use the white one too and i think i want to incorporate the yellow as well so let's get started before my voice goes completely away <laughs> I think I want to do a halo eye, so I'm going to start with the Mini 14 from Ruffer, and we're going to do Christmas Town, which is the darkest purple. So it's going to go in this outer corner, or inner corner, I should say, and in the outer corner. I know you're all probably thinking, why am I filming if I sound like crap, but I just sound like crap. I feel much better than I have the past few days. <laughs> Don't you worry. This is what it's looking like. And for this being purple, it's performing incredibly. Also, if you enjoy Halo Eyes, mini brushes are perfect for that. So the new refer brush, the mini ones, amazing. I don't know if the 50% off sale is still going on right now, but it's worth checking out. Okay, now I'm going to jump in to the white shade, which is called No One's Dead. This is a mini 01, and I'm going to use this to blend out the edges and maybe create like a pastel kind of purpley shade. I will probably have to go back into the purple, which is fine, I don't mind. It's almost looking blue, isn't it? Okay, this is what we got. I already knew that once I mixed in the white, it was going to turn like a light lavender kind of purple. I wanted that to happen. Unless you use plain white and nothing else, it's going to mix, so I'm okay with it. All right, now, and as you could tell, I did reinforce the purple a tiny bit. I wanted the dark purple to be very prominent. So if I started with white first and then laid down the purple, I felt it wasn't going to be like a true dark purple. So that's why I went with purple first and then white. Okay, now we're going to jump into the metallic shade. Uh, Bony Fingers. This is a shader E56. It's like a flat lip brush, but I want this in the inner corner. Ooh, you know what? Um, let me tap it first because I'm probably gonna have maybe fallout like that. Also, I've been blowing my nose, so I have a lot of dry skin that's peeling off around my nose. If you see that, that's what it is. This shade is pretty. It's like your typical 
metallic shade, but it's very pretty. It's like very, very purple. I'm loving it. I'm not going to put too, too much in the outer corner. I still want you guys to see that dark purple peeking through, you know? And it's working fine without me spraying the brush. All right, trusty NYX glitter glue is on. Sugar Plum Visions. Hopefully it's not too dark. I didn't want to use that other purple metallic shade in the middle because I felt it was going to be maybe too dark. So we'll see. Next glitter glue is on. Ooh. Okay, so it might be like a topper shade. That's pretty. Feels very soft. Okay, doesn't that look so pretty? God. Why it's crying downstairs? I need to hurry up. Now I'm going to jump into that yellow shade. Uh, experiments. This is a detailed pencil brush from Samantha and the Sigma collab. I did wet the brush. Inner corner highlight. Okay, let me um, finish off off camera. Go see what the dealio is downstairs and I'll be back. All right, my lovelies. Here is the third and final eye look. I think it is stunning, absolutely stunning. I'm not gonna lie, since I only had these three purple shades to work with, I was a tiny bit worried, <laughs> but I think this came out so pretty. I'm getting a tiny bit of Beetlejuice vibes right i don't know it's i love this more than i thought i was going to let's just say that and then the inner corner shade i think just makes it just pop just mascara i went in to the mac stack and the what's up beauty um i didn't like the way the mac stack looked on its own so i added the what's up beauty mascara for a powder bronzer i went into the Surratt, and for the Blush, I went in to the Armani uh, Maniac, that shade. For highlight, I went in to the Lila B, which unfortunately is no longer available. <laughs> For the lips, I have on uh, Cinnamon from Melt and the Huda Beauty Lip Blush in Rosy Kiss. Yeah, here it is. So, so pretty. I think this is my favorite out of the three eye looks I did with Christmas Town. Okay, so I'm going to insert some swatches here of this Christmas Town palette. Honestly, I think this palette surprised me a tiny bit. Uh, I was not expecting this palette. I thought the first one we got, Halloween Town, was all that we were going to get. So for me personally, it was a surprise that they launched this as like a second part of this collaboration. And I'm honestly pretty stoked. I think I'm enjoying this one a tiny bit more than the other one. I don't know why. I don't wear red often. And this green here, it's not my favorite, but for some reason I'm feeling a tiny bit more inspired from this one than the Halloween Town, which surprises me a tiny bit. I think it's because this one does not have blues in it. That could be why. I don't know. I just feel like creating the eye looks. I had a tiny bit more fun with this palette than I did with the Halloween Town, but I think they're both very, very beautiful, and I'm glad that they're in my collection. I had no issues, as you saw with me creating these eye looks. This purple matte shade performed beautiful, and I mean absolute perfection. With purples, it can be tricky, uh, but that one performed so good. I don't wear purple on my eyes often, and I should because I feel it complements my skin tone pretty well. Okay, my lovelies. Well, I would love to know if you picked up any of these two palettes, um, the Christmas Town or the Halloween Town palette. It's a cute collaboration. It surely is. And 
I feel when it comes to Melt Cosmetics and collaborations, we hold the Melt Cosmetics collaboration at such high standards that it almost kind of sets our mind up for anything after that to just be a failure. <laughs> but I feel like this is actually a pretty good collaboration. And I'm super stoked that they or that I have them. I don't play with color a lot when it comes to my day-to-day -day makeup. So whenever I do play with color, it truly is so much fun because I can be more creative than I am on like my boring normal day, you know, makeup. I hope you enjoyed the eye looks. I would love to know which one is your favorite down below. And that's going to be it for this video. I enjoy these palettes if it's in your budget. Yeah, you won't be disappointed. At least I don't think so. I know some people have been saying that they've been having issues with Melt Cosmetics formulas, but me personally, and you've all seen with my reviews, I have not. Black Friday is coming up, so um, maybe they'll have a sale and maybe these palettes will be included. So yeah. All right, my lovelies, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate every single one of you. You have no idea. All the comments, all the likes, if you use my links to shop, it truly does mean the world to me. Apologies for my voice. <laughs> it was a struggle, but not because it hurts, but because my voice keeps coming and it hurts. And it truly is frustrating because I, I need to say something or I want to say something and I have to clear my throat because it's not coming out. And it's been like that with the kids for the past three days. So <sighs> I'm on the mend. It's the last little bit of it. Um, thank you for your concerns. You're all so sweet. Uh, and yeah, thank you again for being here. Do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up. And also don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you all on the next video. Hopefully my voice will be all right. Bye.